Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So I want to build a new garden table. I've come up with a rough sketch of what I want it to do and I want it to be in between a couple of things. So a normal kind of kitchen table is around the 70 centimetre mark and I have my workbenches around the 90 centimetre. So I want it to go a bit halfway so it can work as a work table and somewhere to eat. So the first job is to get the workshop opened up and get all the timber brought out. Now I'm using treated timber for this and I'm using some 4x2s, some 4x4s and I also have some 1x6s that are going to be the top of it. Time I've got all this wood out here, it's time for breakfast. So this video is sponsored by Y Foods. I came across them and I thought they'd be a great idea for when doing projects like this. I've got my camera gear out here, all my materials and tools but I'm hungry and I don't want to stop and leave everything unattended. Now they come in a few flavours, smooth vanilla, classic cocoa, cold brew coffee, happy banana and crazy coconut. So I'm going to start with the first one and try some smooth vanilla. Now this is not a protein shake or a diet drink, it's a complete and balanced drinkable meal that keeps you full for 3 to 5 hours. They can stay unrefrigerated for up to 9 months and are lactose and gluten free with no artificial sugar. There is also a vegan option. This is food. If you'd like to try Y Foods, you can get 10% off with the code BADGER10. There's a link under the video to Y Foods. So I've managed to have breakfast and get set up to start work. Mm. Thank you, Y Foods. Right, we're all set up, so let's start cutting some pieces. So I'm going to start by making a frame for the tabletop, and I'm going to do that out of these 4x2s. Mark out how long I need the pieces to be, and then I can use the mitre saw to cut them down. I'm going to need two longer pieces for the sides, and then I'm going to cut four pieces, two for the ends, and two are kind of going to be supports that you'll see later on. Now for the legs. I've got some 4x4s, four and I can cut them down on the mitre saw as well. Unfortunately, I can't do them in one cut, so I have to make a cut, flip the piece over, and then finish it. Now my new floor is nice and flat, but I put a bit of MDF down as a work surface and a bit of hardboard that's sacrificial on top of that, just so I've got something really flat to work off. Now I like to get my screws pre-driven in first and then I can start laying the bits out. It goes together pretty simply with just a couple of screws, these are decking screws, driven in from each corner. Then I can get the legs, and surprisingly enough, they go in the corners, and I'm just going to temporarily hold them in place with a clamp, and then I can get a couple of screws into each one to lock it into place. Now for those couple of extra bits that I cut the same length as the ends, they're going to go in here, get screwed in, and really lock those legs into place to stop the table racking. Now I've got six pieces to make the tabletop, and I think they're just going to be the perfect width without having to rip any down, but they're too long. So I work out how long I want them to be, get them marked out, and then I'm going to set up a bit of a better mitosaur station than before. So I've got a scrap of OSB, I can get that on the table frame, get the mitosaur on and clamped into place. Then I can set up a stop block, get that clamped into place, and then I can use that to cut all six pieces to exactly the same length. With all the bits cut, I take one of the offcuts and offer it up to the table and mark it out so it just fit inside the frame, then I can get that cut down. I'm going to use this as a centre support for the tabletop, so I can get all the slats laid out, this bit that's going to be the support put in the middle and centred, and they can be screwed down to each slat from the underside. The ends are going to be attached to the table itself later on, but first I want to give everything a sand down. So I get the table put into place and I'm going to start with a 40 grit disc. These are quite rough sawn boards I got because that's cheaper and I'm mean so it just takes a bit more sanding. So after the 40 I move to the 80 grit and then finally I move to a 120 just to finish everything off and it's getting pretty smooth by now. So the reason I haven't attached the two parts is because I want to finish them differently. For the base, I've got this chalk paint, which can be used outdoors. I had it left over from a different project and really like the colour, so I just get a coat of that on.
This stuff dries really quickly, and when it has, I just flip the table over. Now, I'm a bit of a belt and braces guy, so this is treated wood, painted, but I'm also going to fit these little feet which are made for outdoor furniture so that the base will never be sat on the wet ground. I'll put a link down below to these and all the tools I use on the Tools I Use page. Now for the top. Because this is treated, I'm going for quite a cheap option and that's some boiled linseed oil. This stuff's super cheap, so I'm just going to get one coat on the underside and leave that to dry. Right, so the coat on the underside of the table is done, so now I need to get attached to the top. Now, I could attach it from the underside, but I don't mind the look of exposed screws, especially not when they're done neatly, and this is very quick, and it's a garden project. So what I'm going to use is the track saw with the rail square to mark out all the positions of the holes, and then pre-drill them with a pilot bit and get them attached. I use a little rule and an awl just to punch little holes three centimeters in from the edge of the boards and then I can use a countersunk bit to pre-drill some holes. With all the holes drilled I'm then going to use the same 90mm long decking screws to secure the top down to the frame. The last job is just to finish the top with some more boiled linseed oil. This makes it all a bit smoother, offers some protection and just darkens it all up a little. So that's it all done, a really simple, chunky, rustic garden table. Really quick to make, probably under a day's work in total. Now this is going to fulfil a couple of roles for me. I can keep it in here, in the garage workshop thingy, and use it as a temporary work surface. And on a nice day, I can just lift it through the door and put it outside to either work outside or obviously use it as a garden table, sit and eat at it. Now, next week's project is going to be to build a bench to go with it because it's not much use having a garden table with nowhere to sit. So that's coming up. So thank you to Y Foods, thank you for watching, thanks to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos.